Hey everybody, welcome to the Video Game Show. I'm Sean. So just so if you guys don't know, E3 starts on Monday. I'm very excited about it, so I'm really pumped. But in some pre-E3 news, there was a couple things that came out. We got a trailer for a new game called Murdered Soul Suspect. We have a couple vines from Telltale uh, teasing The Walking Dead, uh, the forthcoming season two of that. We also have a new trailer for Saints Row the Fourth that just was dropped. Murdered Soul Suspect looks like a detective game, kind of like L.A. Noir. But this one, you're not taking place in uh, real life. You're actually your soul. You have to figure out who your killer was. It looks pretty interesting. I'm definitely excited to see more about this game at E3. Not much has been released regarding it. That's just pretty much what you can get from the trailers. Again, the Vine videos are just teasers. Hopefully the next season of The Walking Dead comes out pretty soon. Hopefully, probably by summer or end of summer. I'm very excited about that one. And the new Saints Row 4 trailer is more of Saints Row. Uh, I know you guys will like that one. I'll put links down to all three of those down below. Also announced was a Fable HD Anniversary Edition. Yeah, this one's going to be pretty cool. It's going to be, uh, they have new um, engines for the cinema, the, the scenes, the CGI scenes. Um, they have new engines for that kind of stuff. The, the game is going to include, uh, it looks like it's going to include all the DLC from what I've read. Um, I'm very excited about this one. I, I didn't own the original Xbox, so I never got to play the first Fable, but I did play Fable 2, Fable 3, and like them a lot. So I'm pretty excited about this one. We can't wait till this one comes out. In more game announcements, there was two other games that you guys might have heard of, uh, Deus Ex and Halo. They both announced that they're going to come out with games. Deus Ex is coming out with one called Deus Ex: The Fall, and it's going to be the other one's going to be Halo, Halo Spartan and Assault. But they also did a bait and switch on you guys because neither of these games are coming out to consoles. The Deus Ex game is going to be for mobile and the Halo game, Spartan Assault, is going to be for Windows 8 devices. So it could be for your mobile, your laptops, things like that. Both look pretty interesting. It is a little sad that they're not going to come out on the system, the console, but still I am excited about these. Also, there were some price leaks regarding the play Xbox One and the PlayStation 4 but again these are just price leaks because the prices are way out there they're high and they're low the lowest one being from the website Zivi and that one's gonna say it's gonna be around six hundred and ten dollars uh, Amazon Germany was saying it's gonna be around seven hundred and eighty dollars and Amazon UK is saying it's gonna be around nine hundred and ten dollars so I mean that's a lot of money. I don't think it's going to go up that high. If they do, they're just signing their death certificate right there. So I, I'd imagine that they're going to be under the $600 mark with their systems. Also, in a little bit of spoiler news for pre-E3 news-worthy information, uh, Respawn, their title of their game and a first, I guess you could say, uh, image of the game is already been leaked. The, those are, that are subscribed to Game Informer were able to upload the cover of the next um, Game Informer issue and that one on the cover smack dab right there, Titanfall, Respawn's new game. And it looks pretty cool, there's a mech, there's a girl with a gun, so I mean it looks like a combination of a lot of little, a lot of things, a lot of sci-fi stuff that's going to be pretty cool. Um, I hope to read about this next month and hopefully more information will be coming pretty soon. Another bit of news is Kiefer Sutherland is going to be taking over the role of Big Boss in Metal Gear Solid 5. Uh, he, they, the creator said that they wanted someone that would embody more of that 49 year old Big Boss. That's when it's taking place when he's 49. And they want somebody that can portray the facial expressions and the tone of voice that they want to portray at this time around with him instead of just spitting out the words. Um, I don't know how to take this, whether it's almost as a knock on the last voice performer or if he's just saying that Kiefer Sutherland is just this good um, because the last voice performer uh, I can't think of his name right now um, he was doing it since the beginning so it's it's a little it throws me off a little it's almost a little disrespectful in my eyes uh, let me know what you guys think about this whole situation I am happy though that Kiefer Sutherland is doing it if they chose anybody he's a good pick for that voice that character and there was a teaser trailer which turned into an announcement trailer for NBA 2K14 just this past week it started with Steve Kerr interviewing a blurry subject and then came out the reveal of who is the cover athlete it's none other than LeBron James so Congratulations LeBron, you deserved it, you should have had a cover a long time ago. Alright, in Xbox One, policy and licensing information that came out this last week. Um, it was really cool that they actually answered some of the questions we were asking. Not all questions were answered, but a, lot, a good portion of them were. And it gives us some insight onto what we can expect from the Xbox One. I'm going to go through a few of them here with you guys, just some of the main ones that I think are very important. Uh, yes, you can buy your games digitally and physically. 
yes you can trade in your games as long as the publishing company um, decides that you can trade it in and if you can trade it into that store or that franchise wherever you're at yes everyone in your family can play your game everyone in your family in your household can play your game but that that, that number that that everyone that word does have a limit it's the limits ten people so ten people can play your game in your house regardless as long as they're your family I don't know how they're gonna confirm this what they're gonna do a blood sample a social security birth certificate I don't know how but they're gonna do this somehow so we'll keep our eyes and ears open about that one you can give your games to your friends but keep in mind I say give your games to your friend you, at this point in time, you cannot loan or you cannot rent games, but you can give your games to your friend. This would give up your licensing to them, and then they'd have it, and you can only do this once. The catch here is, though, that your friend that you're giving it to has to be on your friends list on Xbox for at least 30 days. So this is really cool, but at the same time, it does have some drawbacks to it. At least they're getting around the whole, oh, how about can I play with my friend or let my friend borrow a game? So hopefully at some point, they'll get to the point where they can allow us to loan a game to our friend and still get it back without having to pay a fee or something along those lines. The Xbox will still have to connect to the internet for uh, every 24 hours. This is going to be mainly to uh, verify that you have uh, you have purchased any games, to upgrade any um, apps, uh, upgrade any games that you need to be upgraded to play them, um, to see if you sold any games, to, same thing along those lines. That's what the connection is for. And lastly, the Connect, which always has to be connected to the Xbox One. Um, with that one, you're going to have a couple options with it. It's not going to always be listening to everything you do. Um, you can pause it by saying pause and you can continue to control your Xbox One with your controller or with other devices, switch the input over with your regular basic controller, things of that nature. You could also turn it off still with the Xbox turning off as well, saying Xbox off. And then when you turn that off, the only words that the Xbox, the Connect are listening to are Xbox on. Um, so everybody else that was afraid that it was maybe going to be taking down information about you, watching you while you're just in your natural habitat, don't worry, it seems that it's not going to be that way, which is a good thing. So I'm happy about that. So all in all, some good news this last week. A lot of stuff leading up, getting me really psyched for E3. Uh, so the schedule for E3 it looks like this. I don't have the times on, on me right now, but on Monday you're going to have the Xbox, the Microsoft uh, conference, then you're going to go with the EA conference, the Ubisoft conference, and then the, it looks like it's going to end the day with the Sony conference. On Tuesday you're going to have your Nintendo, Nintendo Direct conference, and you're going to have some other things. So hopefully there will be some more conferences mixed in there, releasing more information about more games and more just gaming information in general because I know that I'm really pumped I'm really psyched to catch everything I can regarding this uh, stay tuned next week hopefully we have some exclusive stuff from some new ideas that uh, I've been uh, thinking about with friends and uh, hopefully we can surprise you guys and uh, have a good time so anyway let, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below any questions comments inquiries uh, click those like share subscribe buttons I appreciate it and let's get this conversation started off right I'll see you guys next week